Lately I've been experimenting with a casting technique called Lost PLA Shell Casting. There are a couple videos online demonstrating this technique, but honestly none of them show good results. It's not a great way to cast things, but for certain objects it does work fairly well. First off, the shell of the object you're casting must be very thin. In this case, I'll be casting a zombie hand. The shell is 18 thousandths thick with zero infill structure. The sprue is also made of very thin PLA, while the vents are paper straws. I found that paper straws are much easier to work with than plastic straws. I drilled holes in the model where I'll be attaching the sprue and vents, which is very important to do. It's a good idea to fill the mold from the bottom to the top, so as the metal enters the mold, the molten plastic rises to the top and hopefully out the vents. Getting all the molten plastic to exit the mold is the trickiest part. It's important to have plenty of vents as pouring molten metal into a cavity filled with plastic creates a fairly violent reaction, which you will see shortly. I'm coating the shell with a thick layer of joint compound. This does a great job in capturing the fine detail of the model. I've tried plaster of Paris and it does not work. Trust me, don't waste your time. Once the joint compound is dry, I will bury the mold in sand mixed with sodium silicate. The sodium silicate will hold the sand together and prevent it from collapsing into the mold during the pour. This casting will be in aluminum, as it's relatively easy to work with and cheaper than the bronze I usually cast in. Those of you who are following my channel will notice the new tongs and pouring shank. I made them recently and I have to say they're much nicer than the grabbing pouring combination tool I used previously. So as you can see, there's lots of flames coming out of the mold as I pour. This is why it's important to vent the mold properly. After letting the casting cool slightly, I gently flipped over the bucket to see what I ended up with. It's not the best casting, but it's about what I expected from this technique. I'm really surprised that some of the fingernails actually filled out. After I cut up the sprue and vents, I wire brush the high spots and it's done. As you can see, the joint compound did a great job capturing detail. 
I actually like how this turned out. It's not the best thing in the world, but it looks pretty good. Thank you.